guys, so today I'm going to share with you how I stay organized. The tools and everything that I use that makes my life a little bit easier. As you guys probably know from watching my videos for a while, I do a lot of stuff. I have a full-time job doing marketing at a university. I run a beauty blog that I post five times a week. I have my Oh Hello store, which is like a full-time job in itself, and I also play a lot of board games and try to hang out with friends as much as I can and like I'm gonna be at a wedding and stuff. There's just a lot going on in my life and without the tools and the things I'm gonna talk about in today's video, I don't think I would be able to do half of what I do and still be sane and still be able to like get some sleep and eat and you know like hang out with my boyfriend and my cat. So I'm just gonna go through it. There's about four things that I'm gonna talk about today. And the first thing is my Erin Condren Life Planner. I know you guys have heard me talk about this for quite a while, but if you're new and you're like, what is this? It is a type of planner that has uh, these like tabs on the side for the monthly view. Let me show you one of them. So it has like a monthly view, which this is where I plan out blog posts. I'll go into this more detail and if there's anything in this video that you see that you want me to go into a lot more detail on, just let me know in the comments and I'll film a separate video because it might get a little bit long because I am talking about a lot of different things. So if there's anything in particular, just let me know. But this is where I plan out my blog posts for the month and I just have different colors for my lifestyle blog or like lifestyle related like YouTube videos and then I put sticky notes in the bottom to mark ones that are coming up just in case I want to switch. And so the planner has a monthly view. I'm trying to describe the planner and I'm just going into like other detail. It's complicated. And then it has weekly views. Let's go to a blank one. Where it has a morning, day, and night section. And I actually cover those up to be work, personal, and oh hello if you've watched my Plan With Me videos and you guys know all about this. But this planner has changed the game for me. I've used tons of planners before. I've always been a strong advocate of like writing stuff down and having like an actual planner. But this one, there's just something about it that I spend so much more time with this planner than I do with any of the planners I used to use. And as you guys have known that like decorating it is one of my favorite hobbies and pastimes and it just makes it so much more exciting to use it. So let's go back to um, that monthly video and I'll talk about this. So this is one of the ways that I stay organized with my blog posts. Having a place where I can see an entire month and know exactly when things are happening makes a huge difference. The little red things you see are YouTube videos and I try to post three times a week but I like to think that because of this I am starting to post four times a week which is super duper exciting So I know you guys always like more content. And having like the sticky notes in the bottom makes it so easy just to switch stuff around. Like if all of the stuff for my Etsy sticker haul next week didn't come in, then it's totally fine because I can just move that sticky note and switch up another video with it or put a different blog post in. And having like the different color coordinating things really helps me to see like, oh crap, I need another like um, beauty uh, post because beauty posts are the top green one. And so this is just super handy to have on hand and that way when I go into like one of my weekly views, let's do this one, like when I go into a weekly view at the bottom, you can see that this is where I write in all of like the blog posts and the videos I'm doing. So it all coordinates to each other and having this in one place makes it just so much easier to know what I'm trying to do. And so I'm not like looking at a bunch of different stuff. Like if I'm at work and I'm like, crap, what post was I gonna do tomorrow? I can just quickly look because it's always with me. So this planner is super duper helpful. I've started using the notes section a lot more and putting lists in there, like blog post ideas and stuff. And so it also helps me get really organized because everything is on hand. And I'll be doing a video about my notes section in a couple of weeks. Let me look and find out when I'm doing it. I think it's in May. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a note section video coming up because I found a really cool way to use it and I want to share it with you guys. So my planner is a huge help in helping me stay organized. The next thing that goes along with all of the blog post conversations, and you'll hear more about this in tomorrow's video, is this 
blog content planner that I made. I tried out the Epic blog planner and I have a review for that coming up tomorrow. Let me check. I think I'm getting my days mixed up. Or that's on Friday. Because I film out of order. So yeah, this is going up on Wednesday. So the Epic blog planner review is going to be on Friday. And in that I talk a little bit more about this so I won't go into too much detail. But this helps me stay on track when I'm trying to do social media things. So it has a monthly calendar as well that I make look like the one that I showed you in my Erin Condren. But then I also have these pages where I can write notes about the blog post, make sure I get everything done, and little check boxes for social media. So this helps me make sure that I'm doing everything I need to for a blog post without taking up too much of my time because I find that if you're trying to remember what you're doing or crap there's something I gotta do with that blog post what am I forgetting you're wasting tons of time that you could be doing something else you could be working on your Etsy shop you could be helping out with the wedding like there's tons of stuff that you could be doing instead of hunting for information so having a spot where I can just check things off that I need to like tweet about or anything makes it just so much easier but I'll go into more detail about this in that video and a future video so if you guys are interested in how I made this why I made this the thought process behind it and I'm thinking about selling it so let me know if you'd be interested in it because if you're like I need this yesterday I'll work a little harder to get it listed in the shop because there's some stuff that I want to change about it but another thing that really helps me that is kind of in the works, so I'm showing you guys like midway, like it's not fully developed yet, but because it's just like pieces of paper. But the Oh Hello Shop has kind of taken off, as you guys know. I talk about it a lot because it's basically my life. And I've been used, I used to put it just in my Erin Condren. I used that little box at the bottom, the night box, to like write in what I needed to do and talk about like upcoming sales. But things have just kind of like gotten way bigger than that small box so I ordered an Erin Condren deluxe notebook the ones that have the monthly calendars in it and I'm going to be transferring this information into it but right now I just took a let me find a blank one like a calendar from um publisher and I printed it off and I'm writing in everything that I need to do for oh hello on like a month to month basis I found that working with a monthly view is super helpful for me if you have a lot of stuff going on knowing what you're doing for an entire month may seem a little bit overwhelming but once you get a hang of it then it's kind of like okay this makes sense i know this week i'm doing this and then i need to make sure i have that done ahead of time because planning ahead is a huge part of being successful and staying organized like if you know that you're going to do a sale next tuesday you have to prepare for it before tuesday so knowing ahead of time makes a huge difference so i'm going to be transferring the, this stuff into that notebook once it arrives so it's a little like in the middle because i changed how i was doing it but having these content calendars makes such a big difference for me i do them for work like i have one for blog posts i write at work and like upcoming events and stuff so just having a place for a certain subject like i have my Erin Condren, which I put everything in, but breaking it down into separate parts and having calendar, calendars just for certain things really makes a difference. So when you look at this calendar, you know you're just focusing about that one thing. So having like just a school calendar or just a blog calendar really helps you to like focus when you're looking at it instead of getting distracted by like, oh crap, I gotta make sure I take my cat to the vet, like that kind of stuff can get in the way of your thought process and you really need to just dedicate a certain amount of time to each thing you're doing. The last thing that really helps me stay organized is daily to-do lists. I use this little cork notebook that I just adore. I got it from Michaels. It's in that, it's not in like the front dollar section. There's like a back, like to the side section that has a bunch of like knickknacks for like three to five dollars. I picked up this notebook because I liked the texture and I thought it looked really good in blog photos. I actually do just buy notebooks to have in the background of blog photos, but this turned out to be like a really nice, sturdy notebook. And it says, do one thing every day that makes you happy, which is a really nice thing to put on a to-do list book. So each day I give an entire page to write in to-do list and I plan ahead. So like I write the date at the top and then I'll write like the next three or four days. So if I know I have to do something a couple of days from now, I already write it on the to-do list. 
And so I just write down anything, anything work-related, anything oh hello, anything life-related or school-related, I write it down and then I just cross it off when I'm done. And the really good thing about this and planning ahead in these is when I get to say Monday, there's already things that I don't need to remember to do because I've already written them down. And another thing that I really like about doing to-do lists is I do them the night before the day. Like I'll sit down in bed, like put my phone aside, stop looking at Instagram for like two seconds because I'm addicted. You guys, it's like a serious problem. I post way too often. So if you want to follow me, here are my links to my Instagram accounts because I'm obsessed. So when I'm not Instagramming at night, I will sit down with this book, turn everything off, just focus on what I need to do, and kind of do like a brain dump right before I go to bed. It's really good for you to not look at technology before you go to bed or when you wake up, like the first 15 to 20 minutes. And so I just sit here with this and go, okay, what do I need to do? Anything. I'm like, oh, on Tuesday, I gotta make sure I send out a newsletter. So I'll flip to the Tuesday page and write down stuff for Tuesday and I just kind of put it all out there and by the time I'm done or like tired it's the perfect time to go to bed. I'm already like exhausted, I've wiped my mind so I'm not thinking when I'm sleeping like crap I gotta remember that in the morning. Oh don't forget that. I can just relax and go to bed and everything is in this nice to-do list book and I put like sticky notes at the front if there's like like new releases, I'll just throw any ideas I have, write it down on a sticky note and just pop it in here so it's all in one place and super easy to find. And to-do lists are just so, so valuable and it's good to have them outside of like your Erin Condren or something because I know I feel like I have a lot of organization stuff but having one centralized like to-do list book and one centralized blog planning book really help me to focus when I'm using that tool. Like sometimes I'll bring them all out and just lay them all out in front of me and just be like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, and just having like a crazy organizational session. But then there's also times where I'll just have this and it's just simple to do tasks like do the dishes, put the laundry away, that I won't really think about if I have everything. So having a separate to-do list book just makes it so much easier for me to find exactly what I need to do. So like if I'm running around like today, for instance, I'm doing a lot of different stuff because it's the weekend and I'm trying to get everything done like this video for this week and just get all of the stuff I can't do during the week done because I do work full time. So I have this list of like everything that I need to do. So like after this video I'm like, oh what should I do next? Oh I guess I can do the blog photos. But I also have to edit so it's just nice to have this like with you while you're wandering around your house or out and about during the day so you know what you can do next. You don't have to constantly think about it. And I find that that's a huge help for me. If I don't have to worry about what I'm going to have to do because I know I've already written it down, it makes things so much easier. I'm not stressing about anything and it's just so, so simple to get everything done without being overwhelmed by the amount I have to get done. I just do one thing at a time. So that is it. I know this is a very rambly video, but when I talk about organization and how I accomplish everything, I get a little passionate because I find that... I do a lot of stuff, but I don't feel like I do too much stuff. Like, I don't think I'm overburdening myself. And I like to share that with you guys to tell you my tri tips and tricks on how to maximize your time and get everything you want done. If you want to start a blog and you're worried you don't have enough time, I get so excited about that. I want to help you and figure out how you can get everything you want done. Do all the stuff that you love while still doing the stuff you have to. So if you have any questions, or if you just want to chat about how you stay organized, put it in the comments below. I love talking to you guys. It's like my favorite part of making YouTube videos is the comments below. But that is it. If there's anything in particular you guys really want to see more of or you have anything in particular you want to ask me, just let me know. I will definitely be happy to answer it or make a video about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in I think my video tomorrow. I think. I think it's playing with me. So stay tuned for that. Bye.